But before we continue on with this rant, timestamps right here if you want to go ahead and jump into the video of learning how to play your Nintendo Switch games on towards your computer, which is called Yuzu. It's an emulator and make sure that you have a decent enough computer, like a gaming computer, then you, you should be more than fine. All right, rant time. I have multiple Nintendo Switches. I have uno, dos, tres. And the, the reason why I got so fucking many, you know, two should be more than fine. I shouldn't have fucking three. So this Nintendo Switch got replaced twice. Well, it got repaired once, then it got replaced due to water damage. You know, I have a little nigga that likes to run around and get water and like to pour it all over the Nintendo Switch. He's like, <laughs> fuck you, code. And I was like, wow, wow, I, I can't play my fucking games. So, you know, send it to Nintendo, and during the, during, um, almost two weeks ago when it was being repaired, I was, I was, I was switchless. I was dickless. I, I, I had no fucking power. The Cur Kirby game just came out. I want to play Kirby. And, you know, here's another Switch. And, you know, my little nigga thought it was fucking, fucking funny. He's like, during the process of this Switch being repaired, he's going to pour water all over this Switch. So now I have to send this fucking Switch in for repair, which is another $120 down the drain. And, you know, Whatever. Now I have no Nintendo Switches. So I bought me an OLED just to play some fucking Kirby. That literally, I bought me an OLED just to play some fucking Kirby. So that's one problem. You know, I have a solution. Just throw money at things. You'll get a fucking Switch. Okay, that problem solved. So now here's the next problem, right? Because I got, uh, regardless of a new Switch, right? Because I have a now replaced new switch instead of my old switch which had all the old data on it and i had um let me explain i have it backed up in an sd card and you're like oh hey, well hey you can pop that sd card into another switch that that's the fucking problem is it del it it tells you to delete it if you if you have your old switch um, if they brought back my old existing switch and repaired it, I could plug my SD card back in and I would have access towards my game files. If, if you were to upgrade from a 32 gig SD card into a 64 or 128 or what the fuck ever, right? You can put those existing files from the old SD card into a new SD card and pop that back into the same switch. It will be fine you'll be able to play your old save games. But when you plug any of that shit into a new, completely different Switch, it will say corrupt data and fucking wipe everything, everything. So now I can't play my fucking saved games. I don't want to restart on Pokemon Arceus or Let's Go Pikachu, Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's just, it's just fucking bust a nut, put in a sock, put bleach on it. Kid's gone, bruh. Like, it disappeared, bro. The game files disappeared. And now, throughout all the fucking years of other various games, I don't have access towards my fucking game files. I have it on an SD card and on a computer, but I don't have it on my fucking Switch, which is fucking retarded, Nintendo. You guys need to fix it. The, 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 the data is not corrupt. You guys have encrypted it in some type of fucking way. I swear to God, I'm going to reverse engineer this bitch and make sure that I can play my fucking games, dude. I don't want to, I don't want to start new. I don't want to start fresh. All the years that I put into fucking save data just wiped nuked thanos gone it's retarded so and i thought you know i have two other solutions do a yuzu pc emulator and see if i can play a backed up game data which will be in a separate video i'm just going to show you guys how to install this shit in this video um and if that doesn't work out once I send in a switch and get it sent back, I'm going to modify the fuck out of it and hack it and 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 install fucking homebrew and, and all this other shit and see if I can do it that way. Then and only then, which is here's the fucking kicker. You you want to get your saved data, right? You gotta have and, and on a different switch. You wanna get your saved data? You gotta have two working fucking switches, dude. Two, two working switches. So 
from old switch to new switch. You turn it both on and you do this data transfer internally on their fucking operating system. You can't just pull out the fucking SD card, pop that bitch into a computer and, uh, and, 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 or pop a SD card from the existing switch into a newer switch. You can't fucking do that. You can't fucking do that. That is dumb. Anyways, let's go ahead and show you how to get the emulator and and do all this other extra shit. Thank you for staying tuned for the fucking rant. Hey, just intervening real quick during mid-edit, um, I wanted to mention that I contacted Nintendo Support about this particular issue, and the agent says we don't even have any resources in our internal uh, use or whatever, and we will get back to you via email. It's like, how the fuck? All right, so we wait for an email, hopefully a solution. If a solution does come, I'll make another video. If not, whatever. But I do want to say that I tried to reach out towards Nintendo officially, trying to get any solution. And I tried to post on the uh, Reddit um, Nintendo and they just nuked that fucking post. And I joined the Reddit uh, Discord for Nintendo Switch and just nothing, so whatever anyways on with the video now that we're on the desktop let's talk about yuzu how to get it how to set it up how to play your games on it yes you can play pirate games no i'm not going to show you how to get it and i'm not going to tell you how to do it in the dms don't fucking ask me that's not the point of my video that's not the point of the scope i have purchased the games so i want to play my saved files that's the whole point of this video for me and my use your use case may be different um, but I'm not going to show you where to get it or how to do it. Um, all I can say is just Google it, right? Get the, get the Nintendo Switch title, look up the file extension, either XCI or .NSP and Reddit, and content will show up. So that, that's Google it. Google is your best friend. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the main website. It's yuzu-emu.org. You're going to click Download. The first thing that you need to do is download a Visual Microsoft Visual C++ 2019. It's a direct link towards Microsoft. Install that. Then select your platform. Either download it on Windows, or you can download it on Linux. So we already have it on Windows. Okay, cool. That's already installed. So open it up. You're going to be greeted with this bullshit error saying that you need an encryption key. So it's missing. So to get yourself the, the, the prod keys, you can get it from your Switch, or again, you can Google it. Um, so it'll be the first link in Reddit. You know, just just Google it. The reason why I can't show it is because Nintendo Switch has a hard on, or Nintendo in general has a hard on, and they will just you know they'll take down its video. So once you get yourself the prod keys, uh, you're gonna hit the Windows key and uh, plus R at the same time on your keyboard. Then you're gonna type in percent app data percent. Click OK. Then you're going to um, look for the Yuzu folder. And you're going to go to the Keys folder. And you're going to drag and drop that key. Uh, we're going to put, um, we're going to keep this folder just in case if we need to go back to it, um, which we will here in a second. So we're going to go ahead and restart Yuzu. And here it is. Now it's asking you to double click for the games folder. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to locate it, which is going to be on my desktop. Where is it? Desktop. And it's in a new folder. And boom, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now it says the capability not tested, but for it seems to work fine. Other games will tell you it's not tested or if it's green, then it means it completely works fine or something else. Um, before we even set this, uh, uh, before we even play it, uh, we're gonna make some modifications. So I have the latest firmware file and I want to patch it. So how do we do that? Well, we go to install files to NAN and we locate the update file and gonna hit open and update yep install and so now i have the latest version of pokemon legends arceus with the latest patches anything that they have fixed in the game um as for setting things up you want to go to emulation configure now this is the this is use case on per person on what type of specs that you have on your computer 
how much RAM you got, how powerful is your CPU, how powerful is your GPU. Mine's pretty powerful, so um, for the most case, you can leave it by default and you can tweak things here and there to see if it'll start working for you. Um, as for controllers, uh, you can do keyboard and mouse. Um, you can plug in an Xbox One controller and all you gotta do is hit that uh, circle button, the refresh button, and it should show up right there, then select it, then make sure the mapping's fine, then you know, click okay. So let's just say um, your, your game's not running all that great. Um, go to the graphics and choose either you have an open GL or you wanna do Vulcan, uh, pick between the two. And this is for NVIDIA. And if you have uh, an AMD card, yours will might say different and you're gonna have to select um, each and different one to see if it'll play, uh, play smoothly on your computer. Um, with the, uh, um, this is uh, the NV deck. Uh, I'm not gonna say it entirely. But um, you can either have it decoding from your GPU, which I strongly recommend if you have a GPU that will help out a whole lot. If you do it from your CPU, um, it will be a whole lot slower, but maybe it might work for you. And then you can do all these other settings to the graphics. But for me, I just leave everything at default. But um, just letting you know, you can change things. So... <clears throat> Let's go ahead and start it. I will be blurring out the contents of it uh, because Nintendo likes to take shit down. So I'm going to go ahead and start it by double clicking on it and it should pop up. So it, uh, it's, it, it's asking, or it's not asking, it's giving the shaders. It's Ugh, I can't English. It's compiling the shaders. Let's say you already have um, shaders towards the, the game. Um, what you can do and as you can see, the game's already running. I'm just gonna go ahead and close out of it. Uh, yes. Let's just say you have the shaders for it. So we're gonna go back to the folder of the the app data and the Yuzu, and here's the shaders. You're gonna go find the game uh, file, and here's the opengl.bin, and you can replace it with the shaders that you have compiled or that you have downloaded from the internet. So the game looks superb. It looks how it was constructed. And that's basically it. That's that's how you play your games. That That's it. So, yeah. Um, again, I'm not gonna do any support. There's gonna be no Discord support. There's gonna be no support on any other social media. Don't fucking ask me for shit. Whatever you learn from this video is whatever you learn. Google is your best friend. There's other videos like this on YouTube. So just check that out. That, that's, that's, that's it. All right, peace out, bye.